Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you the most valuable lesson in ceramics. How to properly score and slip on a handle. So I've made this pinch pot and I've made two handles. Okay. So one I'm going to just kind of put on there and the other one I'm going to properly score and slip it. First let me show you how I made the handle. To make a handle, you just rip off a chunk of clay and you can roll it in your hands a little bit and then I'm going to roll it on the table. When I roll a coil, I lose only the palm of my hand. And I'm going to push it really far forward and really far back. And I'm not pushing down at all, hardly. If you push down too hard, it's going to squish it. And if you just go like this, it's going to get flat. So you have to make sure that your coil is making a... Make sure that your handle is proportionate to your cup. So for this size of a cup, I think I want to handle this just a little bit skinnier. Now I'm going to take this and curve it the way that I want it. And then I'm just going to cut it at an angle. So it's going to fit and have a nice area to score and slip onto. Okay, so try that out, and if you're looking at that, that looks way too big for my cup, right? So let's just cut a little bit more off. So that's a decent size handle for this size of a cup. Okay, let's talk about scoring and slipping. Some people think that you can just stick clay on, okay? If you're like... Okay, look, Mrs. Beetleston, it sticks. Yeah, it sticks, okay? Because this clay is wet and this clay is wet, okay? I can even kind of smoosh it down a little bit. Okay, wet clay sticks to wet clay, just like a wet booger sticks to your face. Okay? But when that wet booger dries, all you have to do is just flick it off and it's gone. And so the same thing happens here. When this clay dries, all you have to do is flick it off and it's going to come off. So I'm going to leave this here just so we can see what happens to this handle that I did not score and slip. I'll write a little note. No, I didn't score and slip this. So on this side, I'm going to teach you how to properly score and slip a handle on so it never falls off. You're going to need some slip. Slip is just watered down clay. It's about the consistency of ranch dressing. For really good slip, I like to blend it up in a blender. You're going to need a serrated kidney. You can do it with a potter's needle, but this is so much faster. And what I'm going to do is score the part where I'm going to attach my handle. So I go back and forth. It's like making clay Velcro. Then I'm going to score the part where the bottom of the handle goes on. Really rough it up. Do the same thing for this. Like clay Velcro. Then we're going to dab on some slip. Dab, dab, dab. And keep that in, right? What you don't want to do when you're putting the slip on is to rub it on like this, because I've just erased all those beautiful score marks that I've made. So don't do that. So like this, take the slip. Just dab it on. I'm just getting it in the Velcro. I'm not erasing the Velcro. Okay? Now, this is scored and slipped. This is scored and slipped. Now I'm going to put it on there. Now, if you have enough slip, this really should be squishing out. Okay? A lot of slip there. So just take a sponge. And the last step is to smooth. Score, slip, and smooth. So I'm going to write yes. Yes, I did score and slip there. And then I'm going to let these dry. This one is scored and slipped properly. This one's just stuck on there. So we will see what happens when it all dries. Okay, stay tuned.
Okay, this is mostly dry now, and you can see the side that I did not score and slip. And if you look, you can kind of see that it's already starting to come apart. It's sort of peeling apart from itself. This is the side that I did score and slip properly, so let's test it out. All right, so what I'm going to do when I grade it is just hold it like this. Okay? So this, as you can see, this is staying on really nicely, and I can hold it like this. I would not recommend holding it by the hand like this when it has not been fired because it's just too fragile. Okay, but that's good. Let's try this one. bad actually. And there it goes. You can see that none of that stuck right there. And then when the impact, it broke my other handle. Okay, because clay is fragile. But there's nothing to stick on there. So it just came off. 